What's going on YouTube, Steven the Salon Guy here and in today's video I'm going to be doing a haircut tutorial of the best tennis player in the world, Roger Federer. So I'm ready to go, let's get started. So Federer's had his hair a variety of different ways and you know in his most recent hair from the Open, the US Open, uh, you know he's got kind of a traditional men's haircut. So this is a great haircut for somebody who you know wants something that is going to be you know could be very professional uh, you know, a good haircut for like um, corporate, you know, if you're, if you're somebody who works in corporate, uh, someone doesn't want anything really sh super short throughout the sides, something very manageable, you can literally run your fingers through it and also get a little bit of texture um, throughout it as well. So I'm going to start right in the side area right here in the sideburns and I'm just going to kind of chip away at this and he probably has his hair a little probably over the ear and uh, enough that if its hair gets, you know, if it gets sweaty or something, looks like it's always going back. But I'm going to cut it just below the ear, and I'm going to point cut this. So now what that does is it gives me like a nice clean look. You know, if I wanted to go back, you know, you can use some product. It looks like it's over the ear. But if you wanted to cover the top of the ear, you can with this as well. So then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually push that hair out of the way, and we're going to connect this part right into the back and I'm going to do that by just combing the hair straight out from the head and cutting downwards. Now again because this isn't a super short haircut you know Federer does have some hair down and through here uh, which is great because uh, by doing this by hand you can really kind of uh, cut this so that's all balanced and it's not super super short. So again, this is more of like a traditional men's haircut that, you know, I think if you can learn how to do something like this, you'll be in good shape. So we're going to keep this focused right through here right now. I'm just going to turn the head a little bit more this way as you can see. And I'm just going to do a scissor over comb right in this sideburn area, right in through here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over the top this way and I'm going to cut downwards like that holding my hands out to about, I'd say, uh, no more than two inches from the head. And I'm cutting this so that it does maintain a little bit of length, which allows you to comb the hair back if you want to wear more of a slick back type look. And something that it's not, you know, again, it's not super short, and it's a great look, a great kind of professional look. So next, I'm going to bring down one more section on this side and through here. And again, the reason I'm starting right in through here is just because that's the first thing that just kind of jumped out at me. I was like, wow, these sideburns are really, really long. So you don't necessarily have to start there. If you were to start in the back, you would start right in the nape area, like a lot of my traditional videos, and then you would just kind of create layers throughout the back. But what I'm doing now is as I get towards this front in through here, this is very important, you want to really angle your fingers out so that you're not cutting this too short. If you cut this too short, you know, it's kind of, you're kind of in trouble. All right. So I want, you want to be careful, especially if you're a stylist or if you're a client that's going to get their hair cut somewhere, you know, you really want to make sure that no one ever cuts this really, really short because then it's going to create a whole disconnection and this is not going to have a nice flow to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of now turn the head this way and we're going to extend right into the lower nape area right down through here. All right, so now that we have all this layered, now is a perfect opportunity to connect the back. And you're doing that by literally pulling the hair straight out from the head and cutting a nice, even, balanced shape. And again, I'd probably say the length is no more than two inches because you want the hair to have some flow to it and that's what's going to give it that little bit of added texture and that, that grown out type look like in through here. So I'm just going to work all the way to about the middle of the back of the head because I'm going to leave the other side for when we actually cut the other side. So I'm really just focused into this area right now. And my body position, you know, I'm changing my body position to where I feel comfortable in, in my cutting technique where I'm not like, you know, I'm kind of mixing up the hand position coming over this way and then some areas I'll come over this way 
it all really depends on how my, you know, my body position and where I feel comfortable. And that's the key to good haircutting. So now we're going to comb this down, make sure we're good. Again, we haven't cut the top or the corners yet, but um, what I want to do now is I want to switch over to the other side. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing right here, cutting upwards, and then we get to around this part, I'm just going to lightly point cut. Let's comb this down a little bit here, just again to give it that little bit of texture right around the ear area. And let's get this out of the way here. The best way to do this is to comb and then cut, comb and then cut, because you can really see where everything is laying, especially right onto this ear area. Comb down and cut. Just obviously be careful when you're cutting or working on a client that you don't slice their ear off. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna connect this lower part right here. So most of the times hair cutting especially with like traditional men's haircuts is, is all really about connecting the dots and making sure that everything is balanced. That's really the whole key of having a good haircut, especially having one that grows out really well. There's a lot of haircuts that just grow out horribly with men and women just because simply they're not really cut to grow out. A lot of times you'll get a haircut and you're like, oh, a week from now it doesn't look or lay as good because they just, it was a quick, quick haircut. <laughs> That's why I take about an hour for my haircuts. Okay, so now we have this in through here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over the top now this way. And we're going to work back. Again, cutting it to where it's no more than two inches in length. And we're going to, what I like to do is I like to comb the hair, cut it, and then comb it again. Because you always want to be checking to make sure that there's good balance and that the hair is always flowing. You always want to have that hair have a nice, has, have a nice movement to it. We're going to connect the sides in through the back now. Let's turn the head this way so you can see right there. And again, I'm, the, the main difference now is that I'm cutting palm to palm this way and I've just, instead of my fingers going the other way, now they're just pointing downwards. Instead of the other side was pointing up. That's really the biggest difference. And I'm keeping my body parallel to where I'm cutting, which is crucial, so that you stay very consistent. And I literally have been standing in the same position since the other side. Now I'm just going to come over the top this way and cut to make sure everything is blended in. I'm going to work up the back of the head now, and here's where we start to think about the top of how long we're going to actually have the top. So his hair, I'd say it's probably about, you know, five inches or so throughout the top. And we're connecting this because it's going shorter up into longer. That's why we have total control when we're pulling it straight out from the head. And in most of my haircut tutorials, what I like to do is connect the back with the top here. And again, with the body positioning is I'm pretty much staying right in this one area right in through here for the most part. And I'd rather turn, you know, the head towards me. I'd rather work around the head than have to change my body positioning too, too much, you know, or, or have to like step way over here, put my arm over here. So it's just easier for me that way. All right. So now that the hair is cut going to this way, it's time to connect the back in through the top, which is right, now we're going into this area right in through here. And the elbow has to be pretty much parallel because if you angle your elbow down the wrong way, what's going to happen is it's going to create a different type of effect with the hair. So I'm trying to keep, you know, a little bit of a shorter to longer angle. So that's where my elbow pointed up towards the ceiling is going to help keep that length protected. All right, so now we're going to comb the hair straight up. And again, I mentioned it's about five inches or so throughout the top of his head. Maybe a little bit longer, but not much than that. No more than six inches, that's for sure. 
and we're cutting everything straight up from the head this way, and we're working to the very, very, very front. And I'll probably have to go back in and cut the front a bit shorter, and I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. But now what I'm doing is I'm working mostly throughout the top right through here. All right, so now that that's done, we're gonna work into the corners. Now we already did the sides before, but we just wanna make sure everything's connected. The corners are right into this area where the roundness of the head starts, right in through here. Um, we're gonna over direct this back just a little bit here. And now that we're done with the corners, we're gonna connect it throughout the sides. So as you can see right here, that hair that was a bit, a, a bit longer, that's technically the sides. And now what we're doing is we're just blending it so that it has a nice perfect flow to it. And this is the big difference between you know, a really, really good haircut and just taking a bunch of clippers and hacking away at it and, and being done in 10 minutes, you know, clipper over comb stuff. This, these types of haircuts, you, you really gotta pay, uh, pay a lot of attention to and put the time in. All right, so now I'm going to go back on this side right here and just blend it again just to make sure there's no unbalanced pieces and the best way to really make sure everything is even is if you uh, pull everything straight out from the head at a variety of different angles. You know, horizontally, vertically, you want to just kind of comb the hair and play with it and then you'll see how it's all falling and then you'll know. All right, so right in the very, very front, this is, this is definitely way too long. His hair isn't that long in the front. So let's cut it to about just below the eyebrows, right into through here. I'd say about right here is good. Remember the hair will kind of shrink up. So you always wanna leave a little bit longer. And the good thing is, is that, that this corner piece right in through here that we didn't cut, it actually, if you look at it, it blends perfectly into this. So if we cut this too short, look what's gonna happen. You're gonna have this huge gap in through here. So because we didn't do that, we actually preserved the hair and we're good. So when we bring this back, you can see how it's got a really, really nice flow. And, and if you see in a lot of his pictures, when he's wearing a headband or playing, the hairs just kind of come down like this. And especially in his more recent uh, hairstyle, this is pretty much exactly how his hair looks. So let's do the other side now. Remember, we still have this, this side to do right into here. And now I would change my body positioning just like if I was you know, cutting a, regular, a client's hair is I'm standing now in front of the face this way. I'm doing the corners and now I'm actually doing the sides. So it's always like top corners and then sides. That's the way I cut hair because if you start from the, you know, if you start from like, the, it depends. Like in a Napier, I'll start from the bottom and work my way up. But I'm hardly ever working from the top, like the first section I do. You know, I'll start here, then here, and then go to the top here. And now it's like I'm, after you build the foundation, then you're putting on the different floors and things like that. So that's kind of the best way to describe it. So we just want to make sure that everything is balanced together. And now I'm going to stand on this side here. And remember, we didn't cut this. So this is much longer right through here. So we're just going to cut that piece right there to make sure everything is connected. Because again, the hair is kind of um, worn over to the side this way. So now I'm just going to cross check simply by pulling everything straight out from the head, like so. And we are going to be good to go soon. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of a, uh, some finishing touches on this, and then we're gonna start the blow dry. Before I blow dry, I always spray in 25 spray as a pre-styling treatment. And 25 spray has 25 benefits, so it's great to work into the hair because it helps add a little bit of volume, helps smooth out the hair, gets rid of frizz, um, flyaways, and it's really good for uh, over-processed dry hair. So you spray that in, and then we're gonna start the blow dry. For the blow dry, the majority of the movements are gonna be with my hand like this, and I'm just gonna be raking through it and kind of scrunching a little bit to add a little bit of texture, but for the most part, it's all gonna be blow dried with my hand. Lastly, I'm gonna finish off the style with my product Shadow. 
which is like a cream pomade. Really, really great product. If you are looking to have something that has like a light to medium hold, adds very, very light texture uh, and kind of medium shine. It's really, really an amazing hair cream. So I'm just gonna work this through the entire head. And what you wanna do is you don't wanna just mat the product like this. You never wanna really mat anything down unless you're going for like a really, a really flat type of look. But what you wanna do instead is you really just wanna use your fingers like this and do more of a raking motion because that is what's gonna add that texture to your hair, okay? And, and also if you put a comb through it, that's also gonna flatten it out and possibly take away some of the volume in your hair too. So you always wanna make sure that you're really working the product in and whatever desired result that you want, that's basically how you know, you're going to use it. So if you want something a little more textured looking, you wanna use your fingers to rake it back. And here we have the finished result. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And just a heads up, I'm really, really excited to uh, present my new schedule. I know I took a bit of a break <laughs> um, from YouTube, which is like a week and a half, but here's what we got going on, on so far for the rest of the channel. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so three times a week, I'm posting videos. Mondays are going to be actual hair cutting tutorials. So like any types of haircuts, I'm gonna break them down really, really in-depth tutorials. Wednesdays are going to be dedicated to celebrities or you know, athletes, musicians, or high profile people. That's what Wednesdays are for. And then Fridays are gonna be nothing but just pure hair tips. Hair styling tips and techniques that are gonna be very, very helpful to you guys. So please, please come along with me on this journey. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really committed to my channel and bringing you guys uh, good information. I know I've experimented a bunch in the past, but this, this break that I had really uh, helped me focus on what I'm planning on doing. Um, this coming Friday, I have a special video, and it's a Frank video. So you guys don't want to miss this. It's coming up Friday. Uh, but next week is when we're starting the full new schedule and new series of videos. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think, if you're excited about this, kind of going back to my roots, and uh, I want to bring value to you guys. So. Thank you so much, and I'll see you all very soon.